welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul with me, Margo. I hope you guys are all doing well since the last time I saw you guys. I do want to tell you I did hit the milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all. Very exciting for me. So my son and I were putting up, I think, the last video that I had. And he's like, Mom, let me check your numbers. Now, sometimes um, YouTube will take a while before they catch up, I guess. So I really ne didn't even think I would hit a thousand, you know, before the new year. And I actually did. I was so excited. I want you guys to hold on till at least the end of this video. And I will be announcing the Dollar Tree calendar winner. And also in this video, I'm going to do the 900 and 1000 um, subscriber giveaway. So what I want to do is for the 900, I'm going to do a $10 gift card to Dollar Tree. And for the 1000, I am going to do $20 Dollar Tree gift card. And I'm going to give you guys about a week or so to, to do this. So what you need to do is in the comments, First of all, you need to be 18 or older, live in the United States, and be a subscriber. Thank you, thank you. Um, also, in the comments, please put in hashtag 900 for the 900 subscriber giveaway, all in one. And the other one, I want you to put hashtag 1000. So if you do hashtag 900 space hashtag 1,000, you'll be entered into both of them. So good luck everybody and let's get into this haul. Let me get right. started with this, kind of boring. Um, Everything Bagel by Eli's. I have not bought these in a long time, but uh, both my son and I do like these and there's only four in a pack, which is fine with me. And these are really, really, really good bagels, I have to say. All right, then I saw Kinder's barbecue sauce. This is the mild barbecue, 15.3 ounce. And here's the nutritional facts. And let me see if there's an expiration date on here. Yeah, I don't see one. All right, and then the other Kinder's product I have is zero sugar marinade and sauce teriyaki. And this is a 14 ounce bottle. And here's the nutritional facts on that. I don't think I've ever tried that brand before, but if you guys have tried it, let me know what you think of it. All right, and in the Freeman products, I did find some new stuff. This one is Rejuvenating Clay Mask. And it is, uh, it looks like cucumber, cucumber and pink salt. So we'll give this one a whirl. And these are $5, I think, normally at like five below. So, and I do like this brand, Freeman. And then I saw this one, Cleaning Peel Off Clay Mask. I really don't think I've hauled any of these. This one is the Purifent, um, well, clean, clear, I'm sorry, Clearing Peel Off Mask, Sweet Tea and Lemon Brighten. So that's the second one. And then the third one that I found that I believe I don't have is um, by Freeman again, exfoliating clay mask scrub and it's apple cider vinegar. And this one is six fluid ounce. I believe they all are. So those are those three. And then I did find another Freeman product and I can't wait to actually try this one. I bought two of them. It is Ultra Healing Cream Mask for Dehydrated Skin, Sunflower Seed Oil, Plumps Almond Oil Restores, and Dermatology Tested 3 Fluid Ounce. So I, I did get two of these, and I really, really can't wait to try these out. I suppose I could have tried one out and then just hauled one, but that's okay. And then this is new to me anyways, the Crayola Body Wash Pen. And these come in four different colors. So they have the purple, which I think is really cute. I know the kids are gonna love these. 
and it's a 1.9 ounce and let me show you get sealed okay that's good that is good i wonder if you poke a hole here at the end or i'm not sure but anyways there's the purple one here's the pink one here is the red and there is a blue one so pretty cool i think the kids are gonna love these all right so i had three of these I can't believe this. I was setting up my haul and I dropped two of them. This gives me Ray Dunn vibes and this one says family on it. It's a ceramic sphere and like I said, it's got the Ray Dunn look to it. This one says family, the other two that I broke. One said love and one said thankful and I'm upset that I broke them but I'm hoping I could find them again. Most of my decoration here in my living room is black and white so that's where this is going to go. Oh, I did pick these, of course. Like I said, these are uh, getting harder and harder to find, but the two packs of paper towel, I did get two more. So that's such a great deal. And like you guys know, I go through a lot of paper towel. All right, and then I found this by BYS Cleansing Wipes, and it is 25. It says for face and eyes something water i can't pronounce that or i don't want to pronounce it incorrectly but there's 25 wipes in here i like the packaging it's pretty cool uh this is mascara by ioni it's volumizing black i've never tried their mascara but i'm willing to so i'll see how that does Alrighty, and then we have, let's see, oh, this is um, Infallibles by L'Oreal. Let me tell you, this stuff does not come off your lips. <laughs> um, so anyways, this is the third color that I found, this purple. I really like this color. So there are, there's three different ones that I picked up personally that I like the colors of. All right, and then I saw this. This is Crafter Square Insert Card Set, like... I don't make cards per se, but let's see. It comes with four blank cards, four blank inserts, and four envelopes. I'm going to open it. Here's the front of the package. That's what that looks like. And I, I'm opening it. I'm very curious as to what's in here. Okay. So we have the gold inserts. And... Oh, must be a red one. And then we have these blank cards. And, oh, there's different colors in the cards. Okay, there's like a beige, and then there's a pink. But there's four total. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And then the envelopes, you have four of them. So awesome. Awesome, awesome. So $1.25, and you can make your own cards, and it's... Pretty cool. All right, so on uh, Saturday, we are going to a 60th birthday party, and I was in charge of the decorations. So here are the items I bought for the decorations. I actually have more, um, but black balloons. So I went with black and gold, and I couldn't find the gold balloons at um, Dollar Tree. But I did find them at Walmart, so I picked them up there. Then we have a happy birthday sign with the black and the gold lettering. And then it comes with this little tape thing in the back so you could put the banner together. And then I saw these, I picked these up. These are two tissue pom-poms, 12 inch in diameter. And these ones are black. So I got two packs of those. And then I saw these happy birthday crowns that I'm probably just gonna scatter around. Maybe the birthday girl will wear one, I'm not sure. And then I have this hanging decoration, 14 inch in diameter. And this is also in black and I do have two of these. And I saw these, I thought these were really cool. It is six birthday favor boxes. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use them for, I don't think I'm going to use them for favors. I'm actually going to use them for um, decoration. And these are the colors that we're going with. So then I have this sign here. Well, it's a, whoops, blow up, happy birthday. Here's the happy. And it has the tape in the back to put it together. 37 inches long. That's good. And then the B day, which is 25 inches long. And also comes with that uh, tape stuff. And then the last thing I think, I think it's the last one for the birthday stuff is happy birthday. Little sign. So I thought those were nice. All right. We needed garbage bags, and I like to get the 30-gallon um, charge. Uh, I'm sorry, 30-gallon large trash bags. This one is the Gain for Breeze, and it's the bonus pack of six instead of four, and it's name brand. So I was happy about that, and I did get four of these. And then my sister went shopping for me, which I thought was awesome. And she saw these mini mason jars. These are adorable. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with these yet, but these are adorable. And these are in the crafter square um, section. All right, so then I wanted these flat containers. I had bought these last year. No, oh, this is the wrong top. But anyways, you guys get the gist of it. They had these ones and then the ones that kind of look like shoe boxes with the handles. I have plenty of those. I needed more of these. So my sister did pick up four of them for me, which I was very happy about because I'm going to be cleaning up and organizing. And then I saw these. These are huge, 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 huge. These are 24.25 cups or 194 fluid ounces. These are like the Rubbermaid containers, and they come with the lids. So that's pretty big. Look at it compared to compared to this one. See the difference? So. Alrighty, and then whoop, whoop, let me bring this over to me a little bit more. They have these. I was so happy to find these for the doggies in my life. Beware of dog kisses and I woof you. These are adorable. There's like a clothespin on there. You could put the dog's photo in here. The human's photos in there. Whoever's photo you want to put in there. But I thought these were cute. And this is the third one that I picked up. Good, uh, good dog. So I actually picked up two of these and then one of each of these. So I was happy to find those. I had seen a few people hauling those. So I was excited about that. And then I picked up this. It says, yes, I really do need all of these cats. And we have two. <laughs> but there, there are babies. There are babies. And this is, again, black and white matches the stuff in the living room. And then this one is, this house is filled with love and paw prints. And I thought that was adorable as well. This could go for cats or dogs or Anything with a paw print, actually. <laughs> All right, I had seen Bargain Bethany show these, and these are in the baby aisle. These are safety multi-purpose latches. So what she did with hers was, didn't even think of this, she latched it onto her garbage cans so the raccoons can't get in there. So this is bendable. Let me open one of these. But this is bendable. And I wouldn't have even thought of this until she said it. So you stick this. You could stick this on your lid and stick this on the actual garbage can like that. And it'll stay closed. And then all you have to do is pop this out to open up the can. So what a wonderful, wonderful idea. And it doesn't have to be a garbage can. It could be anything you want to latch. It doesn't have to be cabinets for the little ones or anything like that so i thought that was great i did pick up two packs because you never know in the back it does show like for cabinets and stuff like that but i thought that was very brilliant thank you bethany
and I picked up some Valentine's Day signs. We're actually going to hang these at work with, um, I have magnet hooks that I bought from Dollar Tree, and we're going to hang these off of our um, equipment at work, but this one says Happy Valentine's Day. I tried to get something that would be appropriate for um, middle school kids. And then this one says, Happy Valentine's Day, kisses, love, be mine. This one's adorable. I don't think I've seen this one last year, but it kind of looks like a wreath. So we'll have that one. And then this one, love, lo I love all these signs. Who am I kidding? <laughs> this one is, uh, the key to happiness is love. Amen to that. So that's what this one looks like. Very, very cute. And this one's definitely new. Love this one. And it says love. It looks like a tag. And it's got the beads um, on the string, on the twine to hold it. So I thought that was cool. Oh, yes. Another sign for the kitty. It says life is better with a cat. And I can hang this or lean it somewhere. So I really like those, those signs. And then I have some Klingons for work. You guys know I get them for every season. And some of these are actually new to me. So I have this one right here with the Be Mine and Hello Love, Happy Valentine's Day, some flowers. And it says you and me. Very cute. Then we have this. Oh, this one is adorable <laughs> with the dogs. I believe I, I, yes, I did. I got two of these. We got a lot of uh, pet lovers that work with me. <laughs> See, so cute, so cute, so cute. Look at this little guy down here. Oh my goodness. Adorable. Um, and then we have this one. Be mine. Happy Valentine's Day. Hugs. I love you. Love. Very nice. Different, sh diff not different shapes, but different um, sizes for the hearts. And then we have this one, another animal one with the sloth, an alligator, a lion, a tiger, a toucan. All right, I went in a sloth. I don't know if I said that sloth. And the gnomes, of course. Look how cute these guys are with love in the middle. These are adorable. Honestly, I don't remember seeing these ones last year. Or a lot of this one, yes, definitely. I do remember this one last year. I love the colors with the back, black background. So nice. And then this one right here with all the hearts, XO, and better together. What does this one say? Love ya. So very cool, very cool. I like those. All right, so the last thing that I'm going to show you are some crazy socks. And I hit the jackpot again with these crazy socks. I love these things. These are so cool. These sell for like $8 to $10 a pair, I believe, outside of Dollar Tree. So these are all Fitz Men's shoe size 6 to 12, and they are crew socks. This one is the Fruit Loops. Love these. Love these. This one is Sour Patch Kids. This one is Cup of Noodle. There's the back. This one is probably one of my favorites. Hey, Kool-Aid! <laughs> Who remembers that commercial? And he would come busting out. <laughs> Then a Kraft Mac and Cheese. These are all like uh, fan favorites. Swedish Fish, one of my faves. Here's the front. Whoops. And here's the back. Then the Oreos, my son's favorite. And last but not least, the Chips Ahoy. These are all like childhood favorites. Isn't that something? Pretty cool. All right, guys, so that is it for this haul. Let, Let me, me get you some prices. 
And so what I paid for this haul is $87.50. And had I gone to Walmart, Target, Amazon, outside of Dollar Tree, it would have been approximately $248.43. And that is a huge difference of $160.93. And again, that's why I love Dollar Tree. All right, guys, until next time, love you, bye. Don't forget to hang on till the end so you could see if you are the winner of the Dollar Tree calendar. Take care, guys. Bye. All right, guys, so we are going to announce the Dollar Tree calendar winner. And I have a special guest here. This is Sarah G, the winner of my last uh, giveaway. Hi guys. So here we go. Sarah, hit it. Let's hit it. And the winner is Cynthia Redenor. Woo! Woo! Congratulations, Cynthia. Please do me a favor and send me either an email or a message on Instagram so I can get this calendar out to you. And again, congratulations. Woo!